never thought of it, you know, and until it happened to Ernie, you know. Just take his body, mm. and we don't know where he is. You know, you want to visit your friend, even if they did, or give him far or talk him. We don't know where he is. Come and take him away. And that really, well, it pissed me up and made me really mad. Oh, he smoked a lot, you know, he smoked a lot of cigarettes, yeah. and, and they found some spots on his lung, I guess, so he had to go to the hospital and get, op you know, have, uh, get operated on and stuff, and he took one of his lungs out, lungs out, and uh, anyway, uh, so he was in there, you know, he really got sick, you know, he really got sick, and just never got better, and I was hoping he'd get better, but he just never got better, he could get worse and worse. People have cared for me, and the people in my own family does it. Some do, some don't. So I, the, the point is, I didn't want to control my my wish. So I had to think about what way I want to be buried, where I want to, you know, all of that. I felt kind of scared, you know. It wasn't a very good feeling to, you know, to go through that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> through that. I mean, we got to talk about death. And why is it important to talk about death? Because there's life and there's death. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. So I want to be pair. I mean, I enjoy life. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy life. And I want to be with my friend. But if God wants me, I'd be, you know, mm -hmm. but not yet. <laughs> oh, Wayne McCatton. He's my support, support person. So, Wayne helped explain yeah. what the tube was. Yeah, what they put the tube in, in. How did he help explain it so you could understand it? Oh, he said that Dad put a tube in him to feed, to feed him the liquids. Uh -huh. Cause right. he, couldn't have, he didn't eat regular food, so they had to put that in front of the liquids, so the liquid would go inside his stomach. You know, I share it. You know, uh, the people that really know me and care for me, the people who I feel comfortable to talk. Because I need that. I was so angry at what happened to my friend. I just need to share that. Because my brain is dead. It's not function. It's dead. Then I'm dead. I'm not alive. So I don't want machine gun not exist anymore. Connie's not here anymore. Let me go. I want my permission to put a tube inside of Ernie. You know, that's the only way they make it. Uh, um, Feeding, I guess. Mm, I say, my wish is to let me go. I um, want a priest to be there to say my last day. I want my friend to be there, and yeah, my family can want to be there. So I like do that. What kind of decision were they asking you tonight? Oh, to make? Oh, um, what I wanted to do if I wanted to. You know, uh, I just say it plain go. Whose decision was it? Well, it was my decision to, 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 to do, you know, to help his best for him, you know. And by telling yeah. them that, um, to let him go, you knew what, what did that mean? What would happen? Uh, pass away. Pass away? Pass away, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want someone inside for me. Because some of my family does accept me and my ability. What could Ernie have done differently? I could have made a plan and and uh, uh, what he wanted to do and where he wanted to be buried and if he passed away. I think the way I started kind of living, if you started early, started put it away and that money go for your bury. So you're going to put a little bit of what away? Yeah, the money to what you're going to want to bury. Save the money. Have you ever talked to Ozzy about whether you want to have feeding tubes? Have you ever shared that with him? Has he talked to you about it? No. So what's something you can do so each one of you know that's important? Oh, yeah, we might have no tube in Okay, you don't want that, it sounds like. No. So how would Ozzy know that? I could tell, tell him that I wouldn't want no food in me.
that's my wish, and I signed my name. He was there to uh, have it written and have somebody there written to see me sign. Well, make a will. Make a will? Make a will. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And the will says what? What's, what do you think? What's in a will? Uh, where, where, uh, our stuff, what, where our stuff goes to? And uh, my wish, and I signed what my wish is. Okay. And that's what I did. How would the doctor know? I tell him. You tell him, and then you can write it down. On write paper. It down. On paper. So he yeah. can actually yeah. put it in your chart. Yeah. She showed me where it is, and it's in the middle. And they have a Saint Maria, and they have a bench, and they have a tree, a love tree, all the nature and all that. So I shared that to, uh, I, I just had a feeling. And I started crying. I said, I don't know, I just feel this is it. Like if anything happened to them, uh, yeah. they should make a plan to where they want to go. I mean, if, if they should pass away, they make this, the decision where they want to go. I talked to Wayne and he sat down and talked to us about it, you know, where we want to go. And so I told him we left to be buried out of high school. And yeah. so he, uh, you know, uh, arranged it and got the, paid for the, uh, it's all paid for. They paid for it and everything, so it's all paid for out there. Anyway, at least I know where I will be going. I'll be there next to Ernie and I'll be there next to me. We talked about it and he said, yes. I said, hey, come over, we're going to have a picnic. He doesn't want to have a picnic on dead. He want to have a picnic on still alive. And then just have a little picnic too. And I asked the person, could I do that? I know it's kind of amusing, but I, why not? And in Mexico, they do that. I didn't even know that. If the person died, they have a picnic. So I said, why not?